Hey legends, it's David from Trail Adventures USA. Today we have a quick review of the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tire. Now this tire is a 31 inch diameter tire and it came stock on the Colorado ZR2. Now we are swapping this tire out because we just did a four inch lift on the truck and we're gonna go with 35 inch tires and I'll tell you about those next. But first, the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tire, we got about 21,000 miles out of it and I have to be honest, I'm not 100% satisfied with the tire. The amount of wear and tear that we took on some average trails uh, was tremendous. And so we'll do a close up and show you some of the wear and tear, um, how much of the tread is just chunked out from, uh, from, from small rocks, not even large rocks. We didn't do any huge rock crawling with this on any of our expeditions, but uh, um, definitely cannot recommend this tire and I'll show you why. You can see here on a lot of the edges of the tire, there's quite a bit of chunking um, from rocks and debris. Uh, even on the edges are starting to wear. And now this is kind of typical. We would expect to see this on a trail. Now the stuff that I'm talking about is stuff like this, and it gets much worse on some of the other tires. And this is one of the primary reasons. I mean, if this is an all-terrain tire or even an off-road tire, um, you know, look, I understand there's gonna be some wear, uh, general wear and tear, but when your tires start falling apart like this um, after a few days on the trail, definitely not the tire to have on this type of truck. The Colorado ZR2 is billed and sold as a extremely uh, off-road capable vehicle, but uh, when you're throwing tires on there that are just, you know, deteriorating, um, not a good choice um, in my opinion. What we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be going to the new uh, Yokohama Geolander tire. Uh, this is an MT tire, so it should be able to take on a lot more abuse. Uh, Yokohama is a great brand, as you guys already know. This is a 35 12.5 R17 tire. So we're going to take the Yokohamas over to the tire shop. We're going to get them mounted and balanced. We're also going to have a wheel alignment done. After the four inch lift we put on the truck, we definitely want to make sure that our alignment is good before we put any wear, additional wear and tear on these tires. So stay tuned. You guys are going to be able to see the finished result, a good before and after. The tire has amazing load rating uh, characteristics. It also has a raised rim protected sidewall and heavy cleats all along the sidewall. So it's a great tire. This is definitely one that you guys should uh, consider if you do a lot of trail running, off-roading, and combination driving. Um, tire has been uh, rated very well on all online reviews, has excellent siping within the tread, a lot of uh, open tread design, and it also has rock release uh, ribs within. Uh, so I would uh, strongly encourage you guys to give this tire a try. Okay guys, so we just got back from having the tires installed. We are going to take some measurements for the after. So on the front we have 42 and 5 eighths, and on the back, we have 40 and a half. Now let's take a measurement of the overall height of the truck. I'm gonna take it at the uh, highest point of the roof. It looks like we're about 76. So I'm just taking a straight line off the highest point of the truck and going straight down to the ground. And I'm measuring about 76, okay? Maybe 76 and a half. So that'll give you a, a good rough idea of how tall the truck is. Uh, and if it'll fit in your garage. Okay, so 35 inch tires, four inch lift, looking at about 76 and a half to the tallest part of the truck. And I still have plenty of clearance coming into the garage. Now let's take it out on the road and see what the road noise is like. All right, so the final part of this tire review is how do these tires sound on the road compared to the Duratrac tires? Now, the Duratrac tires with the odd wear pattern that they were getting, they were making a lot of road noise. And I know a lot of people who have Colorado uh, ZR2s complain about the noise on those tires. So what we're gonna do, as soon as this light turns green, we're gonna turn off the air conditioning and uh, we're gonna get the car up to about 45, 50 miles an hour and see what kind of cabin noise we can pick up uh, with the iPhone, all right? So here we go, air conditioner off. And now we're just gonna listen to the tires. That's about 40, 45 miles an hour right there. Very smooth, no additional road noise. Certainly a lot better than those Duratrax. So I'm gonna turn the air conditioner back on. And uh, like I said, guys, I strongly encourage you guys to look into these Yokohama um, Geolander tires. They are a great tire and uh, certainly worth the investment. All right, this is David from Trail Adventures reminding you to explore and conserve. Be safe out there.